Hey everybody, uh, if you remember my video from a ways back about the Robbie the Robot toy, uh, I mentioned that I was a big time toy collector, that's still very much true. I have a huge collection, most of it's in storage right now, unfortunately, but I do have, you know, a few items around. Uh, and one of my favorite toys from childhood was Masters of the Universe. Uh, you may have also seen one of my other videos with Alan where we discuss the current state of Masters of the Universe and how hard it is to find the toys. Uh, and some of you may not realize that there are actually new Masters of the Universe toys on the shelves right now. Uh, for some reason, they're not really getting to stores. Uh, kids are having uh, pretty much an impossible time finding them. Collectors uh, are having a hard time finding them too. These are grown people with their own resources who travel to a lot of stores looking for this stuff and they're not able to find them. Uh, and I am having a really tough time. Uh, there are about four assortments out right now. Uh, and so far I found, uh, let's see, He-Man, Skeletor, uh, Man and Manny Faces, <clears throat> uh, Prince Adam, who came with one of the vehicles, the Sky Sled, and Battle Cat. And there are maybe 15 to 20 other figures that I've just never seen except for this one. Uh, this is uh, one of the first uh, figures who wasn't He-Man and Skeletor that I found in the stores. Uh, I found this at FYE. This is Man-at-Arms, He-Man's uh, best friend and the heroic master of weapons. If you remember the cartoon, you're, if you're of a certain age, you probably remember the original toys. Uh, one thing that's uh, different about this one is that, uh, from the original toy, is that he has the mustache, which was something that they added to the character in the cartoon. The original figure didn't have a mustache. Uh, and I'm trying to see, yeah, the back of the package right there. Uh, they actually changed the art, the, the uh, key art on the back uh, is of the figure in the package, obviously that makes sense, but the original figure didn't have the mustache at all in the artwork or on the toy, but he did have it <clears throat> in the uh, cartoon. These are, uh, you know, brand new. They uh, originally were sold only at Walmart, but now they're starting to pop up at other stores. Like I said, this one I found at FYE. Target's supposed to carry them. My Target doesn't have any. It's a really bad situation for toy collectors, uh, but a lot of times you can get these, if you're lucky, on Amazon for a retail price. They're a bit of a tough find. Sometimes they, uh, the, they go up for sale. Word gets out to the collector's community and they're all gone within minutes, but if you get lucky, you can find them like this. Uh, here's Man-at-Arms. I'm gonna open them up because I actually open up and play with my toys. And uh, the boys are really looking forward to playing with this guy. They've been having fun with He-Man. <coughs> I'd show you him, but they lost his power sword. It's in the room somewhere. Uh, and his uh, his shield and his axe. So he's basically just, you know, He-Man with, with no weapons. Uh, but anyway, this guy's got his weapons. Uh, I'm going to take him out and play with him before they get here. And take him and lose all of his stuff. But anyway, at least they're having fun. And kids can finally play with He-Man and his friends again. Masters of the Universe from Mattel find him in stores now. I'm going to open him up and I'm going to show you what he looks like. Alright, there's the guy. That's Man-at-Arms. That is the father of Tila, best friend of He-Man, master of weapons. He's uh, one of the big uh, differences between this line, which they're calling the Origins line, and the classic He-Man figures that I had when I was a kid, is that these have a lot more posability. You can actually bend their, their elbows, uh, his hand moves back and forth, uh, his arms will actually stick straight out on his sides. He can T-pose, as Gabe is uh, fond of saying. Uh, he's got his weapons, he's got his armor just like the original figure. The head, uh, the original figures only could look side to side. This guy's head goes up and down. Uh, they're not spring-loaded at the waist like the original figures. The original uh, Masters of the Universe figures, a lot of them had springs in their waist. You pull his arm back and he would spring back with a punch. These guys don't do that, but they are really nice because they have a lot more articulation. The, Knees bend, the feet uh, actually move in every different direction. And uh, yeah, that's Man at Arms. He's got nice bright colors on him. This is the original design, same as the original toy. Uh, maybe there may have been some changes to the armor, uh, but uh, other than the mustache, it's the same guy that I had played with when I was a kid. And uh, these are about the same size too. I don't have any of my originals, unfortunately. Uh, sadly lost a lot of my uh, childhood toys to uh, various uh, incidents of uh, theft and uh, natural disasters but anyway it's good to have this guy now and uh, there's another uh, really cool feature about this line <coughs> which is again the origins line uh, and that is that they are meant to be taken apart and they have interchangeable parts so I've got 
Skeletor right here. Like I said, my boys have been playing with him, and so he's lost some of his, his weapons. They're not lost. They're just misplaced. They're somewhere around here. I can get them back. But you can take off Man-at-Arms uh, arm right there, and you can take off, say, Skeletor's arm right here. And all the figures are built this way. You can do this with every single one of them, <clears throat> so far at least. And you can pop Skeletor's arm onto Man-at-Arms' body. You could change out all of his limbs and his head. The heads come off also. And you could uh, mix and match and make figures of your own. Uh, my friend Alan, who you've seen in a lot of my other videos, he's uh, big into customizing, so he's been taking apart these figures and, and making some of his own in new combinations. He just replaces the limbs sometimes, puts on new heads, paints them. Uh, that's something that a lot of collectors, a lot of fans <clears throat> of this line are having a lot of fun doing. Uh, and my kids actually have a lot of fun doing this too. They like to switch up the body parts, mix and match, and make new characters. Uh, I won't let them paint my figures though. <laughs> They'll have to wait till they're older and they can get some of their own. Or maybe if they ask Santa or get some for their birthday, they can do that if they want. Uh, but yeah, so new Masters of the Universe toys are out there. These are really super cool. Uh, there are quite a few characters out right now. Like I said, they're really tough to find. Um, you can pre-order them. I recommend looking online if you're interested in getting into this line. Look for them online <coughs> and uh, pre-order the heck out of them when you can because they're really tough uh, to find in stores. Uh, one of the other things that uh, these figures come with is these little mini comics, which is a concept that was taken from the original line as well. All the figures, uh, at least initially in the original He-Man line from the 1980s, came with mini comics. And these are no different. These are brand new mini comics, so they're not reprints. You can see on the back there it has pictures of all the characters in the assortment. This is the first assortment He Man, Tila, Man at Arms, Skeletor, Evil Lynn, Beast Man. I have seen of these, uh, uh, of this assortment, exactly those three. That's not entirely true. I did see Evil Lynn also, but uh, I couldn't justify buying her at the moment. I will go back for her though as soon as I can. She's a really cool figure. But uh, yeah, these are pretty simple mini comics. They get brand new art inside. <clears throat> Maybe if you uh, if you want, you can pause the video and read it. I'm just gonna flip through the pages really quickly so you can see how nice that artwork is, and it tells a little story uh, about the characters. And yeah, a lot of them come with uh, the original characters. Uh, a lot of them came with uh, different. They published a whole lot of uh, different mini comics to go with the figures. These ones are not quite as many, so you'll see a lot of repeats in the packages, but they're still really nice to have. It's a nice bonus. It doesn't cost you any extra. Uh, these actually retail for uh, $14.99 at the moment. Uh, if you can find them at retail, which is actually a really good price for action figures these days, especially of this size. Uh, the price of, uh, of toys has, has kind of skyrocketed since I was a kid, and so they get a little pricier, which makes it a little tough for my kids. Uh, but, you know, they get to play with mine when I, when I buy them for my collection. So that's it, Man-at-Arms, Masters of the Universe Origins. Uh, get them, I guess, wherever you can, because like I said, they're tough to find. Thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave us some, some friendly comments below. Leave us a like, please. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification symbol, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. So just a quick addendum to the Man-at-Arms uh, toy review. Uh, I probably should have had this handy so I could show you guys. Uh, this is another great product. This is actually a hardcover reprint of all of the mini comics from the original Masters of the Universe toy line. And you can see there, as you can see, there were quite a bit uh, printed. And uh, these are actually <clears throat> really nice. This was a gift from my wife Misty for my birthday a little while back. Uh, I believe this is still in print. You should be able to find this at bookstores or on Amazon. But, uh, you know, it's a really nice reprint collection of every single mini comic including uh the story of the production of the mini comics uh that were published for the original masters of the universe toy line which i said is like i said it's pretty impressive they did quite a few of these mini comics these were uh, i forget exactly how many pages i want to say not more than eight or ten uh and you can see how thick this book is they published uh, uh, quite an awful lot of them to go with the figures and you can read every single one of them in this book very nice and there's a lot of reading in there so if you're a fan of he-man fan of comic books yeah get one of these all right bye